up here yet. It's 91, 92 roughly degrees. It's uh, 77 outside. Sun shining down. So anyway, it'll get hot probably in the next month. But this is where they've added on. This is a built on from a garage and they've extended it. So that's kind of why that's all funky right there with that little door coming in and then you slope there all that good stuff and drop down over here so somebody i don't know it's still standing that's all i can say anyway this is a nordine heat pump that is being used to heat and cool that space so while i get this opened up for right here to replace the blower control inside i'm about to do that came out the problem was the outdoor unit wouldn't stay on originally the blower would run non-stop but the outdoor unit wouldn't wouldn't come on so we came out looked at it eh, probably the thermostat we weren't getting 24 volts outside on our on our wire and uh, we put up the thermostat and then it intermittently worked for a little while I started doing it again so I met the guy out here yesterday and we were losing Y outside. Well, thought we were, but I also wasn't getting 24 volts on red or R to the, to the outdoor unit either, but yet the blower was running constantly. What we figured out was we were losing common from this board. Which I have it temporarily bypassed and wire nutted there, straight off the transformer to the equipment. The common for the blower goes straight through the board to the relay. So the blower will stay on and run, but the outdoor unit was dropping out. It's not because we were losing Y or O or R. We were losing the common. And you see how well, see, I don't know if you can see how well that terminal block on that board right there, this thing, piece here where the wires connect is separated down in here so our solder points have basically come loose intermittently and it's dropping common which is down here on the bottom and when i figured that out i came up here and i was like well the blower's running but i'm not getting 24 volts here and i was testing between common right here with the wires were still connected to it and then with my meter between common and there and I wasn't getting any voltage I wasn't getting any voltage there and I was messing around with it and I wiggled this and suddenly I heard the outdoor unit come back on so we let it run for about 10 minutes and then all of a sudden it shut off again so this time I checked between that gray wire which is our common coming directly off the transformer which was plugged right beside our 24 volts to that terminal so between there and each one of those i was getting 24 volts but between the actual common terminal and this strip i wasn't so the pin in the back is is loose on this thing and it's intermittently dropping common shutting everything off so that's what we came up with we're gonna swap the board out real quick and then we're gonna run it and make sure it stays on this time Alright, so the first thing I'm going to have to do is put a new male or female spade connector on right there. Little box of goodies. So that when I get the new board in, I can plug my common off the transformer. Well, first thing I need to do is pull the disconnect out. But, uh, I'm going to put a new spade connector back on there so I can plug that back to the new board when it goes in and i gotta tell you that was kind of a tricky one dealing with that one because you know kind of just sitting outside of the outdoor unit watching it run and it ran probably what 10 minutes and suddenly the outdoor unit just shut off and I was thinking there was a load management box out there as well. So I'm thinking, eh, maybe that's it. But it wasn't. It was still, that was still closed. And I said, why in the world am I not getting 
you know, I, I noticed I wasn't getting 24 volts on Y, and I was thinking, okay, maybe it's an intermittent short because of those Honeywell thermostats. You get that quick short, sometimes that thermostat will bump and reset itself and go back into a delay. But I came back inside. The thermostat was still on, calling for cooling. The fan was in the on position, and the blower was running. And I'm like, well... If we had an intermittent short and a bump to reset the thermostat, then why is that the blower still on? Well, the blower common, and I don't know how well you can see that gap right down in there, but see how far off of that board, that terminal block is right there. And the new one just fits flush to it. There's no gap on that fits flush so our solder points on the back of this board have got some weak spots and common just happens to be the one but I was like well the blower's still running what? so we reset everything and messed with it and then it, it did it again and I said well just leave everything the way it is and came up here and just started checking here I wanted to start from the thermostat back and I was like well I'm not getting 24 volts on G in the blower is still running with well, a blower common circuit goes back through the board it doesn't it's a separate circuit and there's another one that comes to this terminal for your wire connections and that's why the blower was so I, like I said I went straight from our common off the transformer to my wires then I was getting the 24 volts so that's how I realized we were losing common from this board and that's why things were tripping on and off so Anyway, let's get this thing. I put this thing in an awkward position. I mean, well, I mean, carrier puts them down here on the bottom. I think we put a plate in here or something and just mount it. It would make a whole lot more sense to me. So our new board does come with our standoffs on it. So I'm just going to pop these from the back of the board out. I mean, this board's coming out of here anyway. So, we'll just pop that out of there, puff them off, maybe some needle nose pliers would work better. And there's a plate there, but getting it out. snap right on there so I will get it snapped in and then I'll just start swapping these wires out one at a time until I get them uh, in the right spot so I've got the old one out maybe with this you can see a little bit better what I'm talking about but under this terminal block you see that gap when I put the light back there behind it it goes all the way down it's more prominent right there where the common is and there's little holes. Each one of these little solder points back here has got a little crack in it. So basically that thing has worked its way loose and separated itself. And that's why we were intermittently losing those connections. Let's see how that one's nice and tight and flush. So I'm going to get this plugged back up. And then we're just going to do the old jumper test first, and then we'll turn it on at the thermostat, make sure it runs. Right, so we got everything wired back up. We're going to jump it out. By the way, all you installers, no need to run your drain line all the way out here and then right across here. So if somebody's here trying to work on it, that thing's under their shins and in the way where they can crack it and tear it all to pieces. Just bring it out and run it right across here. And instead of wringing this off the front of the pan, take it off the back of the pan. This is the most aggravating mess to be in an attic on plywood. And then you got something under your legs you're trying to sit and get down and work. I mean, I know you installers don't think about stuff like that. But uh, how about do us a favor? Uh, when the service guys have to come and uh, 
fix your stuff. Don't run the drain lines where somebody needs to be sitting at. It's going to get damaged and they really don't feel good on your shins. Just throwing that out there. Let's jump this thing out and get it working. As you can see now between common and R, I have 27, 27 volts. If I can keep my nut lead on there, 27 volts. Wasn't getting that yesterday. Even though I did have 27 volts, I didn't have common. And that makes all the difference. So let's jump it out and make sure everything comes on and runs. And we'll go check and make sure that outdoor unit's on. And we should be finished with this one. First things first. Connect R. We'll jump out G. Make sure my blower comes on. Alright. Blower is on. It's gonna have a time delay for the off cycle. Well, it went up a whole degree. Anyway, so now I'm going to energize O. Listen for that reverse valve click. You probably won't hear it, but I do from where I'm at. I'm going to energize the outdoor unit. Fans coming on. Probably gonna have to go outside for the outdoor unit because I did have that disconnect out. The defrost board's gonna have a five minute delay, so I'm gonna go turn it on at the thermostat. We're gonna go outside. Alright, so I've got the thermostat on set for cool 7284. Yeah, it's a T series thermostat. I should just call it a TS thermostat for, for trashy shit. But anyway, got cool air blowing. Let's go make sure the outdoor unit is on. All right, guys, so it's been on about 10 minutes now. I think we've got this one fixed. You've got to remember, <coughs> low voltage, you know, it's, it can be tricky messing with that, but you're not always chasing 24 volts. Sometimes your common is what you're missing, so don't let that bite you. Make sure you got a good common, good connection all the way through. Double check back to your transformer, and that'll usually fix your problem or get you in the right direction on that one. They're not much on yard maintenance around here. We got nice pretty green water been sitting in that wagon probably five six years if not longer i don't think they use that cooler over there very much I'm sure the neighbors appreciate the scenery but uh but anyway guys low voltage uh, check for that common make sure you got a good common sometimes just chasing your 24 volts if you're not finding it, it can be like that fan motor which is not going in the wrong direction that's just the way it comes across on the video it's running wide open this way but um sometimes you, you run yourself in a circle running around chasing 24 volts when you've got it everywhere make sure you got a good common usually you can double check that back to your transformer work your way from there but anyway guys appreciate you watching like subscribe and uh we'll see you on the next jungle adventure